Blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to your God, glory to the
resting in the power and glory of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto you.
O heavenly King, come from the spirit of truth, or whatever we're present to us, all things, treasure of the of our life. Come and dwell in us and cleanse us of all impurity and save our souls, O good one. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill among men. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips and my mouth shall declare thy praise. It's thy Lord. Blessed is our God always, now and ever, unto the ages of ages. Pray for us. May the Lord direct thy steps. Remember. May the Lord go thee in his kingdom always, now and ever, unto the ages of ages. suffering the imprisoned and for their salvation let us pray to the Lord that we may be delivered from all tribulation wrath and necessity and let us pray to the Lord help us save us have mercy on us and keep us O God by thy grace calling to remembrance our most holy most pure Blessed and glorious Lady, Theodokos and Deborah Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. Unto thee is due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages.
it again in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God.
heaven and to thee do we send up glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever. O Lord, save the fires and hearken unto us.
sick of the palsy, son, be of good cheer, thy sins be forgiven thee. And behold, certain of the scribes said within themselves, This man blasphemeth. And Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Wherefore think ye evil in your hearts? For whither is easier to say, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise and walk? that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. Then saith he to the sick of the palsy, Arise, take up thy bed, and go unto thine house. And he arose and departed to his house. But when the multitude saw it, they marveled and glorified God, which had given such power unto men. Those days there followed him a great multitude of people from Galilee and from Decapolis and from Jerusalem and from Judea and from beyond Jordan. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain. And when he was said, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Peace be unto thee that bringest the good tidings. <clears throat> Let us all 
all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us see. the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Again we pray for our great Lord and Father, the most holy patriarch Kirill, and for our Lord, the very most reverend, metropolitan Delirium, first our Again, we pray that thy people may observe this commandment, what God hath joined together, let no man put asunder, and that shaketh that uh, unshakable strength and prosperity and unfeigned love might be granted unto their domestic churches. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the persecution, preservate. Preservation of the matrimony of the servants of God in peace and oneness of mind, piety and purity. Again, we pray that thy people will be gladdened with the sight of sons and daughters, that our people might increase, and that thy blessing might be added unto them from generation to generation. Again, we pray for this land, its authorities, and armed forces, and for all who with faith and piety dwell therein, and for the God-preserved Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation. Again, we pray to the Lord our God that he may deliver his people from enemies, visible and invisible, and confirm in us oneness of mind, brotherly love, and piety. Again, we pray for our brethren, the priests, priest monks, and all our brethren in Christ. Pray for the blessed and ever memorable holy orthodox patriarchs, our pious kings and right believing queens, and for the founders of this holy temple, and for all our fathers and brethren, under the rest before us, and the orthodox here and everywhere they do rest. of souls in bodies with compunction and broken hearts we fall down before thee and groaning we cry unto thee heal the sicknesses heal the passions of the soul and body thy servants metropolitan jonah the archpriest michael the archpriest john the protodeacon leonid the protodeacon paul castania sevalon maria maria home kosara sophia home nina mary lydia michael mariana adrian fortini luke Yekaterina, Tatiana, Larissa, Matushka, Joanna, Georgia, Alexei, Theodosius, Natalia, Elena, Maria, Dorothy, Larissa, Victoria, Ludmila, Natalia, and Nona, and pardon them, for thou art carnarded all their transgressions, voluntary and voluntary, and quickly raised above again from the beds of sickness. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Pray for those who are being persecuted for their faith, especially the Christian faithful over Iraq, Syria, Egypt, Palestine, and across the Middle East. That the Lord God will send down upon us every spiritual weapon to endure their tribulations, and that He will grant that peace which passes on understanding upon the region and throughout the whole world is a foretaste of His heavenly kingdom. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, given us thy commandments to love thee our God and our neighbor, make hatred, hostility, offense, wrath, and the spilling of blood to cease, that true charity might reign in the hearts of the people of the Ukrainian land. We pray thee, O our Savior, hearken and have mercy. Lord, 
again we pray for them that bring offerings and do good works this holy and all venerable temple for them that minister and them that chant and for all the people here present who ate thy great and abundant mercy God art thou and the lover of mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord Jesus Christ our God, look down with thy merciful eye upon the sorrow and greatly painful cry of thy children, abiding in the Ukrainian Middle Eastern lands. Deliver thy people from civil strife, make to cease the spilling of blood, and turn back the misfortune set against them. Lead unto sanctuary those bereft of shelter, feed the hungry, comfort those who weep, and unite the divided. Leave not thine own flock to abide in sorrows on account of their kinsmen to diminish, but rather, as thou art benevolent, give speedy reconciliation. Soften the hearts of the unmerciful and convert them to the knowledge of thee. Grant peace to thy church and to her children, that with one heart and one mouth we may glorify, glorify thee, our Lord and Savior, unto the ages of ages. Pray ye catechumens to the Lord. Ye catechumens, pray ye faithful, let us pray with the catechumens that the Lord will have mercy on them, that he will catechize them with the word of truth, that he will reveal unto them the gospel of righteousness, that he will unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Save them, have mercy on them, help them and keep them, O God, by thy grace. Ye catechumens, bow your heads unto the Lord. That they also with us may glorify thy most honorable majestic name, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. As many as our catechumens depart, catechumens depart, as many as our catechumens depart, let none of the catechumens remain. As many as are of the faithful, again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. For unto thee is to all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Again, then again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above, and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, and for the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy temple, and for them that with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, that enter herein, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity, and let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom. Under thy dominion we may send up glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages.
Amen. Glory to the Holy Trinity, Saint Sergius Lavra, and our Lord, the very most Reverend Malarian, Metropolitan of Eastern America, New York, First Hierarch of the Russian Church Abroad. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now and ever, and under wages of ages. Land its authorities and armed forces, and all who with faith and piety dwell herein. The God-preserved Russian land and her Orthodox faithful, both in the homeland and in the diaspora. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. <laughs> the clergy, the monastics, and all that are persecuted and suffer for the Orthodox faith, especially the lands of Ukraine and the Middle East, the founders, the benefactors, and the parishioners of this holy temple, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. The aged, the infirm, the imprisoned, those who are bedridden or absent with cause, and all you Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Sacred Agnes, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now and ever, unto the ages of ages. necessity and let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. A faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, and let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, and let us ask of the Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace from the world, and let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, and let us ask of the Lord. A rest and ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure. Most blessed and glorious Lady, Theotokos and Deborah, Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. Through the compassion of thy Lord, begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with that all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. to all. And to all I see. Let us love one another that with 
one mind we may converse. The doors, the doors in wisdom let us attend.
this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins.
Son of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you. Having called to remembrance all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Is set forth and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. That our God, the lover of mankind, having accepted them upon his holy and most heavenly and noetic altar as an odor of spiritual fragrance, will send down upon us his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity, and let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Let the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, and let us ask of the Lord. A faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, and let us ask of the Lord. Pardon every remission of our sins and offenses, and let us ask of the Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, and let us ask of the Lord. the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the drudge of the seed of Christ, let us ask. of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. And God save us, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God, his Father, and to say,
Bill Master.
Sarah. Thank you. 
an inheritance. Of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God for all things. Today we hear in the gospel. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in the heavens. And so when we hear the Beatitudes, We may think that to achieve all those things, to receive all those blessings, to be counted blessed in such a way, may only be reserved for monastics. But as the holy, right believing Prince Peter and Princess Favronia have shown us, as well as other holy couples, not just husbands and wives, but fathers and mothers, have shown us that the path of salvation can also, is also there for us who are either married or seeking to be married. 
that we too can become saints. It is a different path, but it's a path of salvation nonetheless. It is whereby we can achieve holiness, be God pleasing. And yet, our struggles are different, but they are still salvific and thus worthy to bear, worthy to endure. For as we see with the saints Peter and Favronia, whom we celebrate this day, thankful, we see in them that love that we are called to have for each other, perfected as we are called to be as husband and wife. Sacrificing, making sacrifices for each other. We see with the Holy Favronia the gifts that she already possessed before she was married and continue to be graced with after she was married. That grace did not leave her in joining herself to her husband. And we see with St. Peter, Holy Peter, this prince was married to Peronia, who was of such a, low, such a low station compared to him, from the peasantry class, that the ruling nobleman wanted nothing to do with her. And he, would, and he willingly left his throne to stay with her and to observe our, the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. What God has joined together, let not man asunder, put asunder. And so they show this example of bearing each other's, bearing each other's crosses, in a sense, <laughs> By sharing, by sharing one cross together, being part of that little church that we all enter into. And so, dear brothers and sisters, let us call to, let us call to remembrance these holy saints, the example that they set for us all, for all of us, as I said, who are able to have been blessed to share that life with another in holy marriage who have that grace of the Holy Spirit bestowed upon them let us remember that it is meant to be salvific and we are called to sacrifice for one another all the days of our lives that we are together and if there is any question about the love of Saints Peter and Favronia that they had for each other, they were, meant, they were meant to be together. Even when near the end of their lives they had taken monastic vows. And thus they had requested to be they re, had requested to be buried together. But since they were monastics, it was thought unseemly to have them buried together, so they, they were put into separate graves. And yet, it was discovered twice that, they, that the bodies were found together in the same grave, at the same location. Meaning that their love was truly blessed by our Lord. May this be what we all achieve through, our, through God's mercy, and through His love for us, that we come to love Him and love each other to the same degree. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and love for mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Glory to thee, O Christ, God, our hope. Glory to thee.
May Christ, the true God, who rose and said to the intercessions of his most pure mother, Holy Glorious, Holy Glorious, Prophet, Lord, and Baptist, Lord, God, our Father among the saints, John, Archbishop, Shanghai, Sephiroth, of the wonder, wonder Worker, for the saints whose memory we celebrate this day, Virgin Mara, for Roni of Nisibis, Mother, and Saint Peter, Saint Prince Peter, Holy Prince Peter, and Prince of Roni, right believing wonder workers of Morocco, the Mar Martyr Galicianus, the Patrician of Egypt, and Egypt, Venerables, Venerable Father, Dionysus, Libya, Neutropia, Syria, Venerable Simeon of Sinai, St. Malach, Elizmore, St. Adelbert, Art the Archdeacon, St. Theoleptus, Metropolis of Philadelphia, the Venerable Father, Dionysus, and Demetrius, for the monastery of the poor writer Mount Athos, the new martyr for Prochus of Martyr Mount Athos, who suffered at Smyrna, and the new martyr George of Alcala, Venerable Dalmatis, Abbot and Founder of the Division Monastery of Siberia, and the Venerable Father Nepon, the Professor of Wolf, and now the new Harm Martyr, St. Joseph and Files of the Priest, the new Harm Martyr, Files of the Priest, whose memory celebrate this day, of our Father, of our Father, Mother of Saints, John, Christus, of Archbishop of Saigon, of Archbishop, Archbishop of Constantinople, and the Holy Rites, as God, to us, even out of all the saints, have mercy and us and save us, for he is good, and let us man come alive. Before we hear the, the post-communion prayers and give thanks for the great gift that our Lord has given us, there are just a few announcements that I'd like to share with you. Uh, first of all, of course, keep Father John in your prayers as he's, as you've heard, his voice and he is failing him and, is, and dealing with the cold. So please uh, keep in, him in your prayers that he, ha that he recovers quickly. But many, again, many years to Newly Lumen Nicholas, who, was yesterday, who yesterday was joined to the Holy Orthodox Church through Chrismation. Congratulations. And also, for this week, we have a, a, the two, on, two, on Tuesday, July 10th, 7.30 p.m., we have a class with Metropolitan Jonah. He is feeling better, so God willing, he will be there. Please keep him in your prayers as well. And also, that same evening on Tuesday, we have music lessons for members of both choirs starting at 7 p.m. Wednesday, July 11th, we have vigil at 6.30 p.m. because we will be celebrating the feast of the Holy Apostles, preeminent Apostles, Saints Peter and Paul. So Thursday morning, hours and literature begin at the usual time, 6.40 a.m. And we'd like to thank, give many thanks to our fellow parishioner, Martin, Martin Hedrick, who designed the new church sign, and Igor Potomarov, and the workers of his construction company, who installed it as a donation to the parish. A few minor additions will be made to the sign this next weekend, but please take note of it. And uh, again, thank those who 
willingly gave of their time. And if you were not aware, live streaming other services is back online. So please, uh, if the need arises, please take note of that as well. So without further ado, please come and venerate the cross. Who's reading? Who's reading? Oh, okay, I can see that. Okay. Sorry about that, please. Do you need help? Let's follow the reading of Thanksgiving prayers. I thank you, Lord my God, that thou hast not rejected me a sinner, but that thou hast saved me to be a communicant by holy things. I thank you that thou hast not saved me to be unworthy to partake of thy most pure and heavenly gifts, but, O Master, lover of mankind, who for our sake just die and rise again, and this bestow upon us these bread and life creating mysteries of the well being and sanctification of our souls and bodies. Grant that these may be even unto me for the healing of both soul and body, for the averting of everything hostile, for the enlightenment of the eyes of my heart, for the peace of the powers of my soul, for faith and a shame, for love and fame, for the fullness of wisdom, for the keeping of thy commandments, for an increase of thy divine grace, and for the attainment of thy kingdom, that being preserved by them in thy holiness, I may remember thy grace always and no longer live for myself, but for thee, our master and benefactor, and thus when I shall have departed this life in hope of life eternal, I may attain unto everlasting rest with the sound of them that keep festivals unceasing, and the delight is endless of them that behold ineffable beauty of thy countenance, for thou art the true desire and the unutterable gladness of them that love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation doth him the unto the ages. Amen. O Master Christ our God, King of the ages and creator of all things, I thank thee for all the good things that thou hast bestowed upon me, and for the communion of thy most pure and life-creating mysteries. I pray thee therefore, good one and lover of mankind, keep me under thy protection in the shadow of thy wings, and grant me even unto my last breath, to partake worthily with a pure conscience of thy holy things, unto the remission of sins and life eternal. For thou art the bread of life, the source of holiness, the giver of good things, and unto thee do we send up glory to give the Father. Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. O thou who willingly givest me thy flesh's food, thou who art fire that doth consume the unworthy, let me not be scorched O my Creator, but en rather enter thou into all my members and all my joints, my reins, my heart. Burn up the thorns of all my sins, purify my soul, sanctify my thoughts, strengthen my substance together with my bones, enlighten my five simple senses, nail down the whole of me with the fear of thee, ever protect, preserve, and keep me from every soul, corrupting deed and word. Purify, cleanse, and adorn me. Make me comely, give me understanding, and enlighten me. Show me to be the dwelling place of thy spirit alone, and no longer a habitation of sin, that from me is thine abode the entry of communion, every evil doer, every passion may flee us from fire. As intercessors I offer unto thee all the saints, the commanders of the bileless hosts, thy forerunner, the wise apostles, and thine undefiled pure mother, whose entreaties do thou accept of my compassion in Christ, make thy servant a child of light, for thou alone art our, our sanctification, O good one, and the radiance of our souls, and, and unto thee as God and Master we all send of glory as is meet every day. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, may thy holy body be unto me for life eternal, and thy precious blood for the remission of sins. And may this Eucharist be unto me for joy, health, and gladness. And at thy dread second coming, vouchsafe me a sinner to stand at the right hand of thy glory, through the intercessions of the most pure mother and of all thy saints. O most holy lady Theotokos, light of my darkened soul, my hope, protection, refuge, consolation, my joy. I thank thee that thou hast saved me, whom unworthy to be a partaker of the most pure body and precious blood of thy Son. O thou who givest birth to the true light, do thou enlighten the spiritual eyes of my heart. Thou who, thou who givest birth to the source of immortality, revive me whom dead in sin. Thou art the lovingly compassionate mother of the merciful God. Have mercy upon me and grant me compunction and contrition in my heart and humility in my thoughts and their call of my thoughts from captivity. And thou save me unto my last breath to receive without condemnation the sanctification of the most pure mysteries for the healing of soul and body. And grant me tears of repentance and confession that I may him glorify thee all the days of my life. For blessed and most glorified art thou unto the ages. Amen. Now lest thou thy servant depart in peace, O Master, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the faith of all peoples, a light of revelation for the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people, Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blotted our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our debts as we forgive our de debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. 
Amen. Grace shining forth from thy mouth like a beacon hath illumined the universe and disclosed to the world treasures of uncovetousness and shown us the heights of humility while instructing us by the words of Father John Chrysostom. Intercede with the word Christ our God to save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From the heavens has I received divine grace and by thy lips I just teach all to worship the one God in Trinity. O John Chrysostom, O blessed righteous one, rightly do we claim thee for thou art a teacher revealing things divine. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O protect of Christians that cannot be put to shame, O mediation unto the Creator unfailing, disdain not the suppliant voices of sinners, but be thou quick, O good one, to help us who in faith cry unto thee, hasten to intercession, speed thou to make supplication, thou who dost ever protect with Theotokos them that honor thee. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. More honorable than the cherubim, more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos thee do we magnify. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Father, bless. Amen.